Hello and welcome back to the Fusion Minis. This is episode 37 in which we will talk about custom transitions made with Fusion. But first, happy birthday to episode one, the vignette. Mm. Well, the German version. But anyway, that was released on the 22nd of September 2015. It turned one. Happy birthday. Okay, here we are back in Fusion, but before I start, please let me explain why I am even recording this clip. Well, working with computers can sometimes get very, very, very frustrating. And the worst moments for me are those when tools I could always rely on immediately die. They have always been there. And now they're gone and nobody can tell you why. Eh, that's exactly what happened to me or to one of my favorite plugins last uh, Friday. And you guessed it, that plugin created custom transitions. Pretty cool looking ones, but who cares, it's gone. Um, after fiddling around with it for quite some time, I thought, hey, Screw you, I can do this all by myself. Um, why not create custom transitions from scratch? And while doing so, I thought that this is definitely something I could share with you guys, which is the reason why you are watching this video right now. Good, what could I come up with so far? Um, this is my first custom transition. It's looking like this. This is not real time because it's caching all these frames. Whoop. Whoop. Enough. Okay, what do we have here? We have a background node with a simple radial gradient on it, just two colors this orange brown and this um, blue. And the colors are being animated through over the course of this whole animation because I wanted them to be really nice and saturated in the beginning and in the end it's much 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 brighter. Okay, animated colors, no big deal. This whole background animates in with an ellipse mask, this one here that is starting way outside the frame and then closing in till we only see our moving orange spot. And, and by the way, it's moving because I animated the start position of the gradient from left to right. And then, oops, once we reach the end, the mask is doing the exact opposite until we are completely transparent again. So we go from the very first frame transparent to the very last frame transparent and in the middle we have this color uh, thing, whatever going on. Um, we also have a blur note which mm, not sure if you can see it after YouTube killed the effect with its compression, but um, it's basically softening this whole spot just a little bit more. It's a really subtle effect, but I like it. Um, Savory note, pretty self-explanatory. I would like to export everything as PNG files later on. And ah, this resize note here, the last note in this little cute setup is resizing my um, background node, which is by default set to full HD to um, UHD 3840x2160. Um, and later on I will export both versions, the full HD and the UHD version, just in case. Um, 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 what else? 
everything here is fully customizable as long as you have the composition on your computer and as long as no software no let's do not talk about dying plugins um fully customizable i can of course change the colors here i can make it faster i will have to i think um yeah but once it's uh, rendered out i can use it in almost every editing software i can think of right now i could use it in premiere resolve final cut whatever um okay let's this one transition let's take a look at another one this one here um it's looking slightly more complicated i know but it's not believe me um once again we have a background note here and the resize note which is doing the exact same thing as the reside node in this composition. Um, and these are just... Okay, um, we have four different backgrounds here. Four backgrounds with four different colors, or three, gray, yellow, and two black backgrounds. These backgrounds are then also being resized just like this here. Then I am moving these backgrounds or no, first I give them their shape with these rectangle masks and then I am moving and animating uh, my backgrounds with these transform nodes. Um, one last thing is this um, dent note here, which is only affecting this um, thin black line. Let me disable it and you can see what it's doing. This here, just to give this transition one more yeah, one more, one more layer of awesomeness. <laughs> Is it awesome? I don't know. Um, yes, all these different uh, background layers are then merged, 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 merged together. And then here we have the saver node. Once again, PNG file. That's it. Um, also highly customizable as long as you have access to the comp file. If you only have access to the rendered version with um, a transparent background, then you can yeah, I, you can change it later on, of course you can, but it's a little bit more work. Um, but yes, that's it. For now, um, I will make more progress on this um, in the next few days. I'm right now planning on maybe producing 30, 40, 50 of these custom transitions. And then um, once I'm happy, I will release them bundled with a uh, little explanation how to use them on my website <laughs> the website that at this moment in time does not exist um trust me i'm working on it um i really hope you like this episode if so please leave me a thumbs up and tell your friends about it maybe your family too i don't know maybe they like compositing stuff or Okay, um, thank you very, very, very much. Bye-bye.